Yo, what's going on guys, it's Vidic here, and welcome back to Zero to Hero here on Exora with episode 10. I wasn't around much during the holidays, I know it's been a while since we had a Zero to Hero episode, I apologize, but I am back on track and I've got plenty more Exora content coming your way. Now before we get into today's episode, we of course got some juicy giveaways, first comment, 250 donator credits, all you gotta do is be the first person to comment on the video, easy, and if you turn on post notifications, it'll let you know right when I upload, you get yourself a free prize. And we've got yet another sponsored giveaway, this time Aqueous, this generous man, gave us a tier 3 Santa's bow from the Christmas event. I really appreciate these sponsored giveaways, so big thanks to Aqueous. Not only does this weapon look sick, but it is extremely strong and expensive, and it even has a double hitting mechanic. So one lucky random commenter is going to win this for themselves, all you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and put your Exora in-game name down below. And lastly, let's really quick pick the winner of the premium battle pass from last video. And the winner is... Alec Hunter IGN Carini. Congratulations. Now let's get into it. So, since I also have the premium battle pass, I was focusing on completing as many as possible so I can get all of those juicy rewards. I finished up this easy task of burning maple logs, very simple. I cut the trees myself for some extra woodcutting experience. Task completed. And while I was doing that, a new little skillin pet snuck into my bank, a beaver. He's not a combat pet, he doesn't fight, he's just a simple little beaver. I love him. Now I started claiming some of my rewards and I got these twilight keys. These will actually open up any chest in the entire game. Now what these are really useful for is completing other battle pass tasks. As you can see, this one right here is to open the magma chest eight times. Those keys aren't too easy to get, so I instead brought over our twilight keys, opened up all eight, and that's another task completed. Next up, play the black market minigame up until wave six. With our setup, this is just a piece of cake now, it's so easy. Last time I was using up every brew I had in my inventory to maybe finish it, and now we're completing the entire thing with only like three Sarah brews. Task completed, and nothing really good from the rewards, we'll keep saving up our points. This one's basically free, cut 51 new logs that took no time at all, threw them on the fire for a little bit of extra fire making XP, and that's another task in the bucket. In the bucket? Is that a thing? Do people say that? Very 54 magma bones, luckily I have a bunch of these in the bank. You can use them over here on the altar, you don't have to bury them. So this took about 3 minutes, another task complete, give me that battle pass XP. Now we haven't trained up any thieving yet, so this one was going to take a little bit longer, steal from the large cash stall 110 times. The fastest XP is over here at the thieving area, and I decided to check my achievements so we can complete some of these at the same time. Steal 25 times from the baker stall, sorry Mr. Baker, but your kids aren't eating this week. Moved up to the spice stall, and then the gem stall, which actually has an achievement to thieve from it 1000 times. This is pretty much the best XP at our level, so we were going to do it anyways. Lots and lots of clicking, I wasn't going to spend the time going to the bank and depositing these, so I just did coin coal and empty whenever I had a full inventory. And just before we hit 99 thieving, I actually completed the achievement. There's also an achievement to steal from the hero 2500 times, but we'll get to that another time. Went back over to the large cash stall, stole from it 110 times, made absolute bank as you can see, and that's another task finished. This one was super easy, do 4 laps of the gnome agility course. Not much else to say about this one except task completed. 70 more U-logs, no problemo, cut them up, and knocked another task down. Open 7 vote books, luckily I had some in my bank, opened them up, easy as that, that's a 5 second task for some free XP. And we're gonna mine a bunch of mithril ore, I'm of course keeping all 3 pickaxes on me so we can farm some extra coral, some extra bars. I even brought a hammer so we can get some smithing experience every time we saved up some. Not the quickest task, but we got it done, we got some more XP. And now that our thieving is at 99, anytime we get these large cast all tasks, we just do it really quick. Made another big cash stack, task complete. And now we gotta catch a bunch of lionfish, a high level custom food. I bought all the different tools and one by one fished at all the different spots to try and find it. And of course I didn't because it's actually just right up here, climbing up this rock. But we caught all of them, got some cooking training too so we can finally stop burning food, and that is another task completed. Now it seems like there's always hunter tasks on the battle pass so I figured it was finally time to train it up. I tried a couple lamps but they didn't really give me a lot of XP, I figured I'd just go train it by myself. The first few levels were a bit rough, the birds just didn't want to touch my snares but after a little bit we started getting rolling and we got up to the level 2 catch lava kebits. These are in the magma dungeon and they're actually really good because you can make some strong custom potions with them. I got a little strategy down, just set up a line of boxes, 
open them up whenever they were caught, and in no time that was another task done. Another black market, definitely nothing good on this one, we won't be taking any of that. Love these vote book ones, open up 3 vote books and we got 920 experience in a few seconds. Same thing with the magma bones, I'm so glad that I kept all of these early on, that's another free task, easy peasy. And back to the lava kebet standing over here in the corner, because it feels like it catches them a little bit quicker, task complete. As I saw the challenge to mine the elemental star, one spawned right in front of my eyes, that's another easy task down. And I always have fun with these, just gotta complete some challenge scrolls. When you do these, you wanna keep as many in your inventory as possible, because it kinda cheats the system a little bit. And sometimes you'll dig in the same spot five times in a row and complete five different steps. Got this arcane head tattoo, looks odd. And I haven't seen one of these yet, complete two task scrolls. Luckily, they're of any level, so you definitely wanna do the easiest ones possible. This one was just to kill like 60 crawling hands. Not really hoping for too much when I open these, but the extra exo points is nice. And the next one was to just catch some tuna, and while I was doing this, I actually got a super rare drop, the Captain's Harpoon. This is the best harpoon in the game, and it actually allows us to catch raw squid, which is going to be super important later, I'll tell you why. So there's this new item I really want to get my hands on, the Bottomless Ceridoman Brew. It's made over here on the Titan Forge with three different items at a 100% success rate. You got the Exorian Coin. This is obtained by pickpocketing the hero, which we have to do 2,500 times anyways. Mysterious Fish from catching squid, which is going to be our best food, so we'll be catching a lot of them anyways. And Ashy Logs, which you get from cutting magic trees. It's literally a one slot infinite food, so this is definitely something I want to get my hands on. So I'll be putting a little bit more focus on these three skills. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get. Also, if you go into your quest tab and click this little button right here, this is the event viewer. This is such a nice interface to have, much better than what there was before. It'll show you the events going on, like double experience right now, 25% on top of that with a 1% drop rate increase, and then other events that are coming up, like the elemental star, even with a little teleport button right here. You can even check out future events that are going to start, and of course, the world bosses. This is so much better. Nice little clear timer right there and a teleport button so you don't gotta type in the name. So it's definitely a very nice addition to the server. Now, since we've gotten super strong with this new armor setup, I haven't really done any bossing. In fact, I never really did any bossing at all. We mainly just focused on Slayer, we went right to raids, and got instantly rich with one of the rarest drops in the game. But I want to give these guys a look and see if there's any of these bosses that we want to grind out and try to get their drops. And the first one we got here is Tormented the Blood Chiller. Can I, get, can I get close to you for a little picture, sir? Oh yeah, he doesn't care. Now, so these bosses, it's recommended to use range or magic, but I think since our setup is so strong, it shouldn't really matter. And this guy actually has some decent drops. Neon, Tormented Staff, oh, the pets. I'm sorry, little Mr. Magma Beast, but I've wanted an upgraded pet so bad. I know I haven't given him any food at all to level him up. I'm saving it for when I get a higher tier pet. I mean, he's done us well for the time that he served us, but it's time, it's time to get an upgraded one. These bosses are also a great way to get seeds, so we can farm some herbs, and finally get our herb lore level up, so we can make stuff like the Grand Rage Potion, which is going to increase our accuracy by 15%. That's going to be a lot. Either way, though, let's see how hard this guy is. Give him a couple specs right off the bat. 15k HP. Okay, quite a bit, but let's see here. Do we do enough damage to where we can just soul split him? It looks looks like we are. Ooh, he's got some mechanics, but we just doing too much damage to really even care. Oh, we get this little raw lionfish too. It's unnoted. Oh, it's oh, it just goes right into our inventory. That's all right though. When our inventory is full, our drop catcher will actually send everything to our bank. Okay, not too bad of a fight. We can't. Uh oh, we can't soul. Okay, I'm gonna die. God damn it. We can't soul split him the whole time, but he does use multiple styles. So it's probably the best. Jesus, he fucked me up there. All right, how about Tormented the Warmonger? It's recommended to use magic on this guy. Ooh, he's got a pet too. That one looks really nice. Dark Lord armor goes for a decent price. Tormented shield, 15k HP as well. I'm guessing the fight's gonna be pretty similar to the last guy. They're kind of like both demons, just different kinds. The other one's a little cold. Oh, he's fucking me up. Okay, he's definitely stronger. But it seems like if you want to do this boss, oh yeah, we might as well just do the other guy. All right, third one, Earthbreaker. Looks like the same idea. I'm guessing he has, yeah, he's got his pet. He's got range drops, tormented blowpipe and bow, and then the same kind of stuff. This guy actually has 25,000 HP. Oh, oh, what's that's going to hit me? All right, a lot of build up for that little 230. He's actually a lot easier than the other two. I think we can soul split through this whole fight. All right, this is definitely a grindable boss. Oh, hey, we got a little collection log update. I'll keep this one on my tabs. Ooh, okay, Exorian Champion. We fought this guy a few times in the Black Market. He's got a Lance, he's got Wing Drops, some other stuff. Not sure what this is. Oh, Exorian Slayer Helmet. 
some decent drop rates on these two. Let's see how much health these guys got. I'm pretty sure I can just soul split them. Although I do remember them doing quite a bit of damage when you're off prayer. All right, they hit in a little bit. They hit in a little bit. Can't soul split it completely. It's actually probably worth using overloads instead. That way we get a little bit of extra defense when we do this bossing. All right, not too bad. All right, Corporal Beast. What do you got here? He's got a pet, shadow spirit shield, different sigils. But he actually does drop a lot of good resources. Something I've been looking out for, especially for smithing. You can't buy any bars or ores, so 50 to 125 Addy in one drop is pretty nice. Don't really need the gems, but let's see how easy this fight is. Only 8500 HP, that's promising. Alright, not too bad. He's fully soul splittable as well, so might end up being one of my go-tos for getting smithing resources. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know they had Cerberus on the server until this exact moment. And, oh, he actually, wait a minute, he drops Firehorn Boots. I think these are the best straight melee boots, only 1 out of 500. And I've been looking for a boss that drops coal. 5 to 25 isn't too bad. Let's see how easy this fight is though. 15k HP. Now I know he's got mechanics. I think he might spawn those little angels that come out and attack you. Oh, there it is. He does a Aru. Here they come. I'm just going to test it out. What happens if I don't pay any attention to them? Well, I, I killed him. Oh, there we go. Okay, they hit me kind of a lot. But it seems like I'm healing up to full on him. Oh, we got coal. That's a good first drop. Seems like we're healing up good on Cerberus, so we might just be able to ignore them. All right, do it again. Let's see. Starting from a little bit lower HP. Yeah, this is not bad at all, actually. We'll even get some herb seeds from this. And I need a boot upgrade anyway, so we might be grinding out Cerberus a little bit. Ooh, all right, all right, Cerberus. I like you. Oh, we even got some Torstals. I like them, though. We will definitely be returning. But Nomad. Oh, we're actually in his lair. He's a high level boss, but apparently he drops good accessories. Oh, these are really good amulets, actually. I think we need all three of these, especially the melee one. We dropped a lot of different ores. That's pretty much it, but let's see how tough of a fight this is. Only 12,500 HP. Question is, can we soul split him and be fine? Yeah, we definitely can, and he's very easy to kill with this setup. He even dropped some ores, getting sent right to my bank. This is definitely another really good contender. Let's do a few more kills. All right, perfect. We have found our bosses. We got the Nomad here, which is going to give us the best in slot amulets. But first, we are going to grind out Cerberus. Not only can we get the best in slot melee boots, which we definitely need, but we can also get upgraded wings, which I've been looking at for a while. This is going to make our melee setup even stronger. And help up, he's only one out of 355. I'll, I'll take that as well. I wouldn't mind. And at the same time, we'll be getting a bunch of coal, which I didn't see a lot of other bosses drop. And of course, you need coal for all of the smithing training. Also, don't need any food, so this is extra perfect. I just get my overloads, prayer renewals, a bunch of super stores, and I can just soul split, kill him, not worry about dying. Easy as that. But either way, guys, that's going to do it for today's video here on Exora. I'm going to continue grinding out the battle pass, and when I'm not doing that, I'm probably just going to be here killing Cerberus. I'll try to get at least a couple hundred kills, hopefully get some of those rare drops, and maybe even a new little pet in the meantime. Sorry, little magma beast. So we'll kick off next video with a Cerberus montage showing you all the different drops I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want me to know if I want to play more videos. And have a nice day.